Hey friends, Christy Glass here. Ever since I put up the Loopy Mango interview, I've had a lot of questions about my Nantucket throw, which I made out of their giant, I think it's called their Big Loop. If I'm wrong, I'm going to put the title right here. But it's their giant, giant yarn that they sell. And while I was there, I was asking them, too, about the pilling of the wool. Now, this throw has been in rotation in my family for probably four or five years. We've had this, and I have not done a thing to depill it. You, the gleaner is not suggested for this particular fiber because it's so big. But you know what is suggested? Scissors. So I'm just going to show you. This is the before. I don't, it's very difficult actually for it to show up on screen, but it's pretty pilly. Lots and lots of love. And um, I'm just gonna show you how you do it. So I guess you just choose one end or the other and choose a side. And I think it's gonna take a little while, but you just take your scissors and you just, you trim off all the fuzz. You just kinda trim and it's nice to have a small pair so that you can really control it and um, and be precise about it. And I would just go along, and you can be you can be sort of uh, organized about it. So you can start on one end, so one side, one row. You can start on the edge here, and you can see that the wool just kind of like rises above and you trim it, and you don't want to pull because then that pulls it more. So you just want to make sure you do a clean cut and let it fall to your table or your surface. It'll be fun to dust bust this later, right? And you just trim it. Kind of like if you were trimming your bangs. And it may take several sessions because this is a large blanket and your hand might get tired. But that's it. That's your your big wool tip for the day, your scissor is your friend. I watched a woman once sort of depill her scarf in a meeting and it was first of all very distracting because she was just pulling and pulling and pulling at this wool. <laughs> but also I think it aggravated the wool more because she was like pulling it up and agitating it. So I think the scissor is a really nice idea because you can make it a nice clean Area. So I'm just going to depill a section right now and then I'll show you the end results like the before and after. So come back in just a minute. Okay. okay, this is the part that I did. And this is the part that still needs some help. Okay, so see how you can kind of see all of the little, you can see all the crazies here. And this part, I've cut them off. A little before and after. So just after, hey, I'm here. So just after a few minutes, you can see my little pile of fuzz right here. And I don't know if you can really see the difference, but I've been working on this section of the blanket. And what I learned from cutting off the pills is I started to get kind of picky. So I only cut if I saw something that was about an inch or longer. So this is like, I guess my camp. So see how it's kind of like hanging out like that. So just about a half inch to an inch, then I would cut it off because wool is gonna pill no matter what. But just getting these like this is pretty long. This is like a three incher. Oh, that one just came off without a scissor. But getting those off really helps to clean up the whole blanket a lot. Like this already looks a lot more like when I first knit it up. And it's going to take time, so I would just settle into maybe a movie you've already seen a few times before <laughs> that you don't have to keep looking up, or if it's kind of movie that has a lot of silent parts that you are supposed to pay attention, don't choose that one. Or maybe you can get a friend who really likes things to be nice and clean and organized, who has like a special like personality that lends themselves to being like, oh, it really bothers me that there's all these pills on your blanket. Maybe. Maybe you can gift, maybe this can be a gift for a friend to actually um, spend time. So it's a giant throw, but I'm looking across, I mean, even if I were to just give it a once over, there are so many that are just like an inch long. And even if I were to just quickly do that and not be like super pay attention to the details, I do think that would give it um, a refreshed look. Like, and those are pretty fast because I can just see them popping up right here. And then if you want to get more detailed and kind of like 
really shave it down like a haircut, that's gonna take a little more time. But even just these like crazy ones really quickly, it already cleans up the blanket so much. And that can go by pretty fast. Now, let me just remind you, this blanket doesn't sit. I feel like you can't see my head, but you know what I look like, right? This blanket does not just sit on a blanket holder and uh, as a showpiece or a decorator's piece. This blanket is well used and well loved by many of my children. It's the first blanket that they go for when they want to be cozy on the couch. It's heavy, it's squishy, it's warm, and it's just like a very valued treasure in our home. And I have not ever gleaned this since I knit it up um, probably four or five years ago because knitting this takes about a day. I wanted to make sure that it lasted a little longer so I actually put it down in the middle of knitting it and I'm like, I wanna knit this at least one more day, one more night because I just love it. It was so much fun. Look, see how fast it goes when I'm just talking to you and getting all the, the tall ones? And uh, yeah, so that is my tip for you. If you want to make the investment and buy some of this giant yarn, it is a wonderful piece for your home, for your family, and it's uh, you know pretty easy to take care of. You just have to snip it every little you know little once in a while, and then it's looking like new. So this is my first time trying it right here on this video. After Anna, who actually is uh, one of the partners of Loopy Mango. She told me how to take care of it. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go home and do that right now. I'm just gonna do that. And, and it's actually kind of fun and rewarding. And then you have all these fuzzies when you're done. Ooh, what am I gonna do with the buzz? <gasps> what am I gonna do with the buzz? I could stuff something with it. You guys, we can reuse the pills. <gasps> we can do that. Wouldn't that be amazing? What are you gonna do with your pills? What are you gonna do with your pills? Okay. You guys, thanks for checking in Christy Glass Knits. I just wanted to let you know some 411 about this specific um, yarn and how you take care of it. The more you know, right guys? The more you know. When you know better, you do better. When you know better, you do better. All right, I'm just gonna keep lean. I'm just gonna keep working on this for a little bit, okay? See you guys next time on Christy Glass Knits. I can't stop, now I can't stop. I can't stop doing it, it's addictive. Who needs knitting when you can just Deep hill.